And if you're looking for somebody who could be the state's top lawyer, you might do well to go hire a top lawyer, and Tom is certainly that. I noticed fairly early on that there were several lawyers around town whose legal work was always good in court. There were two or three people that I kind of looked up to in town and always followed. He was one of them. My impression of uh, Tom was that he was very good in the courtroom. He'd been there often enough to where he was comfortable there. Tom was secure enough in his abilities that he didn't have to be confrontational. He was always a gentleman litigator and there are certainly lawyers that you uh, keep your guard up with. He was not one of them. Um, say what you want about Tom, but I think everybody trusted him. On the exact day that the U.S. Supreme Court decision came down, freeing Arizona from the multi-million dollar a day sanctions that were being imposed upon it on that case. Michael Jackson died, and as much as that's important to the fans out there, that was on the exact day that decision came down. So as a result, nobody out there realizes that Tom Horn is the reason we didn't eat all those sanctions. Because he was the person that figured that theory out, went, hired the lawyers, took it to the Supreme Court, and won that case on behalf of the state of Arizona. It was an extraordinary moment, and that showcased his knowledge of constitutional law, his knowledge of his rights as a superintendent of public education, his ability to get the issue and get out there and save the state of Arizona, I don't know how many millions of dollars. One, he's a real trial lawyer. Two, he's a good trial lawyer. And three, he's been the managing partner of a well thought of law firm here in town. When I go to the polls and vote for Tom, I'm gonna to vote for him because he's a good technical lawyer. If you're looking for somebody who could be the state's top lawyer, you might do well to go hire a top lawyer, and Tom is certainly that.